Monty McKinnon, and thanks for joining me today. I realized just the other day when I took this and I hung this up, like I looked at this and I looked at the armrest and I wasn't paying any attention and I did this, hung it up, and then it, I realized I forgot to show you how it is that I carved all the armrest. And so that's what we're gonna do today. That's coming up right after the intro. Okay, we are back. And thank you for hanging in. And if you like this video, please subscribe. I've been told I have to ask you to subscribe. And I don't, like I'm new to this. So really, seriously, even with all these videos that I've done, I forget all of this kind of stuff. So if you like, subscribe, hit the button and the like button. That's what it is. Okay, thank you. All right, let's look at this. This is a previous guitar that I made. What I want you to see is all the tape on the top and the side of the guitar, because we did that to this guitar here. And then what we did is we bound it with all the surgical tubing running all in around here to keep it nice and tight. And you can see that on here very clearly. Now, what happened was when we removed the surgical tubing, I very carefully peeled off the tape and in order to do that you don't go with the grain and just yank it off you got to go against the grain and I like to roll it with my thumb so that I don't pull up any of the fibers in the top of the guitar or even on the side so if you look at the picture below what you're going to see actually this picture depicts the beginning of taking apart the piece that we added on the veneer and shaving it down and how delicate that is and how you have to be really careful. Now what I used in order to do that is I used this small low angle plane. It's a hand plane. I also used this scraper which comes from Stumac. This was from Lee Valley and none of them sponsor me by the way. Nobody sponsors me. And this is a homemade scraper. The same as this. It's just a bigger handle and it goes right across the width of the guitar so when I'm doing this I can make sure that it's flat all the way across. So if you'll see in, in the photograph here that I'm showing you because I don't have video of this because it's already done, what you can see is here I'm using this scraper in order to come in at this thing. So I've just started the scraping and you have to go at this thing very, very carefully. Otherwise, what happens is you, you make a terrible mess and you could crack it and break it. The next photo that you see here is I've already done a little scraping. You can see the scraper there and the pieces of sandpaper that I use just in case I need it. Sometimes this gets a little brittle and a little rough, so I just sand it just a tiny little bit so that the, the blade from the scraper will work well. And also, I'm very careful about using the plane. I, don't, I, I will use the plane to come around on the top, but you don't want to tilt it because you don't want to score the top. So you've got to be careful at doing that. And you work from the edges in. For example, you're coming from here into here and here into here because if you don't do that what's going to happen is you could crack it and break it off and that would in a word not be good all right taking a look here you can see that we've moved along a little further and I like to start with the top and you can see I'm exposing some of the shell as it runs around the top here but I'm again because this, I want to be very careful when I'm using a scraper that I don't tilt it like this on the top and end up scoring the top. You've got to be very deliberate and keep that thing from making a mess of your guitar top. Here it is again. I'm now using this one just for the sake of, of changing. 
And one of the things, again, I remind you that I do before I do any of this, I sharpen this one and I sharpen this one and I sharpen the blade here so that the tools are really crisp, sharp tools. This is a close up view. And what I want you to see on this one is the very end. You can see that if I come from the inside, from the middle of the guitar towards the top, I run a real good chance because the grain is running up towards about mm, one o'clock, two o'clock here, I run a real dangerous chance of grabbing that grain, pulling it and breaking that off. And I would not be ha a happy camper if that happened. So I work a little bit from the far end into the middle, and then I come to this end and I work back into the middle. So you'll want to do the same. Here we are. You can see how the the white Teflon is beginning to appear here as I shave this around. It becomes extremely thin because remember, it's on an angle like this and my plane is like this. My hand's shaking too much to show you this. I wonder if I can do it this way, like that. And then what happens as I'm doing this, I'm getting quite an angle on the piece of wood that's coming up here. So. It's going to cut down to the top and you gotta be careful. Now look at the very bottom of this, of this photograph at the bottom of the guitar. Look at that little piece that is sitting there with a little kind of a hook on it. Again, you wanna be very careful and work on that by going in towards the middle. And you can see I'm again scraping here and working around. Now, I'm going to turn the guitar again on the side so that I can scrape around and do exactly the same thing. Here I am again, giving some shape to it. I've, I've been working from the, towards the middle and following the grain. Make sure you follow the grain in order to get the nice green purfling line showing up there. Here. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you in the next video. How good is that? Mm, that is great.